All right, we're gonna start right off the bat. We're gonna get the heart pumping. We're gonna start with a goblet squat and we're gonna superset it with jumping squats. So this is gonna be a burner. You're gonna have the dumbbell right at your chest, feet wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointed out. You're gonna sit down, nice and upright. Core is always tight. Remember to pick a heavier weight. I know you guys could lift heavier. Us women, we got these legs of steel. You're gonna go right into that. And then you're gonna put the weight down. You're gonna do jumping squats. Remember to sit back in your heels. Breathe out. And rest. Your legs are gonna be burning. Let's move on. We're gonna go right into Renegade Row. You're gonna have two dumbbells. Pick a nice moderate weight. What you're gonna do is you're gonna be in a plank. The dumbbells are gonna be right under your shoulder. Your feet can be a little bit wider so you have more of a balance. Core is always tight. You're gonna do a row in, elbow comes in. You're gonna alternate back and forth. You want little movement in your hips. Core is always tight. If you need to drop to your knees, drop to your knees. Elbow comes in, core's tight, butt's tight. If the weights are too much, try it without weights first. It's okay to back off so you can perfect the form because that's what you want. Same thing. All right, next. A little bit heavier. We're gonna do a B stance deadlift. So what we're gonna do is one foot's gonna be in front. Your other foot is just gonna be like a kickstand. I want you to imagine on a bike, this leg's the kickstand. Most of the work is coming from this front leg. Back's nice and straight, core's tight. You're hinging forward, using that front main leg to bring the weight up. Always a slight bend in your knee, using your glutes, hamstrings to bring the dumbbells up. And then same thing, switching sides. Other foot is the kickstand. Most of the work is coming from this front leg. Remember to take your time, breathe out. Next up, super set again. We're gonna do overhead presses. You are gonna do double overhand presses. So elbows out to the side, coming straight up over your head. You're doing 10 and at the 10th rep, you're gonna keep your arms over your head and you're gonna alternate back and forth for another 10 on each side. So you might need to just lower the weight a little bit. If you need to take a quick break, take a quick break, breathe out, get right back into it. Remember to breathe out. Next, you're gonna have your band right above your knee. We're gonna do another super set. So the exercise is back to back. You're gonna do a lateral step. What you're gonna do, feet are always shoulder width apart. There's a nice bend in your knee. You want your core to always be tight. You're stepping one, two, three, four, five. You're going to 50. 50 reps. You should start to feel on your glutes even a little bit in your leg right here, 50. Then you're supersetting it with 30 bridges. So on your back, more of a burnout, 30. There's always tension in the band, hips up, squeeze your glutes at the top. Keep breathing out, fight through the burn. Last exercise. We're gonna grab the dumbbells again. We're gonna do a lateral raise. And we're gonna do a one-two hold 
at the top so you might need to just bring the weight a little bit lower so you could last so arms are nice and relaxed shoulders are down and back you're going to do a lateral raise out to the side one two one two palms are facing down one two core is always tight one two one two hands are not going any further than the shoulder breathe out all right that's it for today remember to tag me in your sweaty selfies whatever you do remember to always increase the weight challenge yourself use heavier weight get the higher rep range and just get it